Yo, what's going on y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make. This is an updated version of the um, how to make a G, uh, GUI enlarge and shrink itself in Roblox. Someone made a comment on the video and stuff, which had which had actually made me realize and stuff. Um, I was like, okay, I need to update this video. If there are videos that you guys need updated versions for, like if they came out like once, even a year ago or something, just literally leave a comment down below, and I am more than happy to. Make an updated version of it and stuff. Because pretty much in that video, I was just changing the size rather than like tweening it, which, which if you don't understand tweening, it means pretty much animating it and stuff. I'll have a link to how to use a tween service and how to animate GUI at the end of the video. So if you want to learn more about that, just wait and click on that. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so of course we're going to need UI. So let's insert a screen GUI and starter GUI and we will name this our. Uh, tween gui we will then insert a text label we just have a text label right we can put it here right actually let's put it like in kind of like in the middle type thing then we'll call this our tween text label right um and we don't really need text let's insert a local script into it and we'll call this our tween script right tween script right and then we will delete print hello world. And then what we'll do is we will do we're gonna need two functions. Two functions. First will be script dot parent dot mouse enter, which pretty much means when a player's mouse enters the general area of the UI. So pretty much like anywhere on the white uh text level, right? Like the white part of text level, right? Calling connect function, close parentheses, right? And then what we're gonna say is we're gonna say script that parent oh sorry. Not yet, not yet, sorry. Okay, so we need to go up here and then press enter twice. I completely forgot. We need, of course, make a tween service variable by doing local ts is equal to game get service, tween service, right? Now we're gonna make the changes. Do local changes, we're gonna make a table, right? Then we're gonna change the size, but not yet. We're gonna then do local um, mouse enter tween or actually no let's say enlarge i'm gonna go with enlarge tween enlarge tween is equal to ts colon create then the instance so we will then do script dot parent you guys actually could do it this way um there's different ways to do it there's two different ways to do it you guys can do it the way i'm showing you guys now or the easier way which honestly i prefer you can only do this with ui though you can, you can only do this method i'm gonna show you guys with ui and stuff right so you can do script dot parent then tween then you choose tween position tween size or tween size and position obviously you want to take advantage of doing it like this me personally i love doing it like this it's so much easier and stuff i just wanted to show you guys that real quick so yeah we don't need local changes though so we can do that and we can say uh look local change we can do udm unim to dot new um we can just, I guess, just, yeah, just multiply it by itself, I guess. Just like do script that parent. Oh, wait. Um, hmm. Well, actually, yeah, we can do like this script that parent dot size times two. Um, I'm not sure. I think we can do multiplication on you, on you, I'm not sure, but we'll see. And we can do using direction dot out since it's going out then the easing style we can do linear of course then we will make the opposite we're going to do script that parent mouse leave connect function close parentheses right and then you can really just copy and paste it same thing but we're just dividing and then make it go in because it's you know going in rather than out this should work if it doesn't then that means um i forgot that we like it's going to give me like an error this is like arithmetic attempt to perform like arithmetic function and stuff yeah there you go okay that's what i thought okay so we can't do that um good okay so we'll try just doing this plus two minus two i think it'll subtract two from the xyz value i'm not sure yeah okay never mind all right hold on we're just gonna have to just do it manually okay so for you guys to figure out how to like double size you it's literally simple math. You just go here and then just, you know, just change the size. 
to like whatever it is. So vector, I mean not vector, sorry. Udim to dot new. And let's say four hundred and fifty. All right. We'll say that, and then we will return the size back to what it currently is. So two hundred zero and fifty. Right. Oh, I forgot to have that over here actually. Because, yeah, make sure you guys have it like this too. We have it like uh, that it matches up. I'm missing something here. Oh, that's weird. Wait. Is it supposed to be two? I don't know what the problem is here. Oh, I see. I see. I see the issues. Okay. I forgot to. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to see there. Okay. Now, if you click play, we should be good to go. There we go. As you guys can see, it animates it and boom. You can see it just kind of extends in a way. It comes back. Uh, we can watch it, the changes as they happen here. Yeah, as you guys can see. I forgot to change this to 100. <laughs> I forgot to double this up. I wrote it as is, but yeah. As you guys can see, that's how you pretty much enlarge and shrink GUI. Like animated, it looks a lot smoother. As you guys can see, it looks a lot very smooth, very smooth. But yeah, there you go. It's an updated uh, tutorial. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Link to join my Roblox group in Discord can be found in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys.